Okay, I'm just halfway through. Oh. Hi everybody, it's Sissy from Just Kitty Photography Studio. I'm a newborn photographer based in Sydney, Australia. I know we could all be very addicted to collecting props, buying the right prop for your photo shoot. Especially when you're starting out, you get a bit lost. Obviously, you don't need all these. Today I'm going to talk about three points you need to watch out when you choose newborn photo props. Okay, first thing first is the size. I don't like oversized props. Personally, I don't like this because um, it's too long. The width is okay, but that length is way too long because once you put the babies down, you'll end up having a lot of space around at the back or around the baby. Um, you're gonna fill up with something looks too oversized. So the width, which I said was okay, is 25 centimeters, but the length is 45. 45 is way too big. And that size is a good one. It's a round shape. It's 28 centimeters. Oh, everything's falling apart. And this is a small one as well. I like it because you could use for a wrap pose or you could use as a chin on hand pose or you can use a nude pose. Size, obviously you measure from the inside, in internal diameter is 27 centimeters. So I recommend to get your props between 25 to 35 centimeters. Okay, so if you are out hunting for a prop and you don't have a ruler or measuring tape, what I would suggest you to do is use your arm. The minimum size is from your wrist to your elbow and the longer size is from your fist here to your elbow. Say I found this one in a prop shop and then I don't know if the size is good enough, I use my arm to measure. See how it fits in between my wrist and my elbow. It's a good size. And if I had another prop, which is this basket, I'm gonna pull my arm in. Way too big, right? And there's another thing in regards to the size is that you want to pick the prop that has a depth. This prop has a very minimum height, which is about, it's about 11 centimeters. To me, that's too shallow. There's a shallow bow like this. There's not a lot of poses you could do. You could only use half wrapped pose, not so much of the chin on hands, the tummy pose, um, because you'll end up shooting a lot of background. That one, this prop, this particular prop, I wouldn't recommend to a new newborn photographer. Depths like this, the deep, the deeper the better. Not, obviously not too deep, though you'll have to put a lot of padding underneath. This one has a depth of um, 16 centimeters. This is a good size, it's a perfect depth. Let me put this way, the depth in between 15 centimeters to 20 centimeters is a good height to pose a newborn in. You could create a variety of poses. Okay, so secondly, when we choose a prop, we need to look for texture. This particular basket, it's um, a oven. Is it called oven? Grass? Seagrass oven? Seagrass oven basket. It has the organic natural look and this one as well is another type of um, hand woven basket has an organic look too totally different styles one neat and the other one more natural however this one for example it's too simple everything is in straight lines to me it's too man-made and too modern and that one I like it because it just gives Cooper look natural and vintage Again, this basket has a color. Now this bed has a total different look. And that flower there, I don't know if you can see that embossed flower pattern there, just makes it look elegant. Now again, these two baskets are totally different textures, one tin and one wooden. The wooden and the tin, I like them both. This round basket, oh it's a tub. This round thingy, it has tree trunk texture. It's perfect for either newborn or uh, sitters or, or toddlers. That bamboo basket is 
my go-to basket. I love it because um, it's a good, it's a good size. It's 30 centimeters by 25, 24. It's a perfect size for newborn, both newborn and toddlers. And it's natural and it's soft. Even the baby, if accidentally hit on that, they it's not gonna harm them. I'm gonna put some padding underneath to avoid that. That's another soft prop, which I wouldn't usually use with newborns. To me, the newborn is not meant to be doing sitting up pose but it's good with the sitters or one year old baby toddlers. This basket has another wood woven look and the color is very yummy. I would either hate it or would either love it. The reason why I hate it because it's a little too big. However, I like material that's made with it. I don't know what material it is made of. Gives you a natural look. It could put into a natural setup or a vintage setup that would match your uh, backdrop or your props. Now the wooden bed is not a bad choice. Double sided. I loved it before but um, I just don't think it's now in trend anymore. Okay that's pretty much about the most of my props here. Don't pick those. They're a well finished prop that's not gonna look timeless in your picture. The third thing to look out when you pick the props is to look out whether it's multi-purposes if you can fit both newborns and toddlers so that it can maximize your photo shoot whether you could do either tummy pose chin on hands pose or you could do the full wrap pose or nude pose or anything uh, this prop as I mentioned before, it was my go-to prop. I love it because, uh, like I said, it has texture, the size is perfect, and it can do uh, a ton of poses, and it could fit either newborns or toddlers. And I like the color. It can match with a lot of different backgrounds. Um, that's my recommended prop if you don't know what to pick as a starting out point. So again, multi-purpose. First thing is the size. Second is the texture. Third is multi-users. Okay, I hope you guys have picked up some tips and tricks in terms of how to choose the right props for your newborn photo shoot. And if you like, subscribe my channel and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.